this and welcome to the playground. Oh, I'm a little bit quiet as I see. This is not good. Why am I so quiet? Uh, I'm on the wrong microphone, I think. Just a second. This is better. So, yeah, this is better. So, let's start again. Let's get this a little bit more down again. So, this is now better. What is this like? I don't know. Sorry, back again. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the playground. Hope all of you are well. Um, sirens going on outside. This is, this is still a little bit loud here. So, now this should be better. <laughs> Hello everybody <laughs> and welcome to the playground. Hope all of you are well. Hope all of you had a nice week so far. Hope all of you are fine and the good stuff, you know. We are here again tonight to make some extraordinary good music, as far as I hope. Uh, at least I hope so, as far as I... Yeah, I will do my best, you know. Hope you ho hope you can hear me now. Everything is good and everything is fine. The The thing there is like a little bit low. Why is it so low? Let's 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 get a little bit louder again. Yeah, like two dB should be enough. Back to fifty three. Ah, this this looks much better. Yeah, here we are again on the playground on Wednesday. Heinrich is over there. He's a little bit shy. He's not facing the camera yet, but he will. I'm sure, he will. And I've got a nice cup of tea here, fresh brewed. Ah. There he is. There is Heinrich, our little friend. Um, nice cup of fresh uh, brewed green tea in my Aperture Laboratories muck here. Um, because it's, it's, it's quite warm here in uh, where I live, you know, in the Düsseldorf. And um, that's why it's... Uh, I'm throwing some stars. Let's throw some stars. Um, that's why I didn't want to have any, like, very sweet tea or something. So I'm going for some green tea today. Ah, refreshing. And um yeah I at first I had then I had an idea to 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 um to work today on some track on a track that I started this weekend. Well, it was it was a track I started before and like like got like messed up in the process and whatever, and now I came back to it and it's uh, pretty cool. But I have a bet. I I then I got a better idea, and this is the thing um, that I'm gonna tell right now here on stream live um, because um. Working on a really, really secret project. Really, really secret project. Um, this is the, what's the right word? Last, uh, next to last, or the, the last but one, you know? Um, music production stream of this year. Yes. So uh, there will be a stream next week on Wednesday, as usual. And this will be the last music production stream of the last planned music production stream, regular music production stream of 2021. So this is the sad news. Um, the good news is that I will be uh, still will be streaming. So I um, will stop streaming music production this year like on a regular basis maybe i will like jump online every now and then or something but to be honest uh, i think i will um yeah not do it <laughs> maybe but uh, you know the, the things aren't sure um but this is really 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 secret project that i'm working on it's really 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 secret project and I'm really hyped, and um, I need to really concentrate on what I'm doing there. And um, of course, it's always cool, and, uh, and I enjoy to stream my music production and share it with you. But there are a few things 
I want to um like well all the things the well, well this secret project I'm working on now I want to hold back and surprise all of you as soon as it is ready as soon as I'm ready with it and so I thought I will be um yeah stop streaming music production after next week for this year I will surely be back in January um otherwise I'll let you know but um yeah like some kind of fall winter break I didn't make a a summer break so I will make a fall winter break like for about this um yeah 3 months about with music production stream I will but what I will be doing is I will be doing gaming streams. So um the next month you will have uh this time um on Wednesday um you will find me playing video games and streaming video games here. And um in German German language because I won't be doing this in English because this will be like way too difficult to for me because I want to relax a bit and this is another thing that why I want to um to do uh, this like gaming streams um because when I'll be working on my on my really secret project um I will surely need some off times and this is why I want to do a gaming stream uh, gaming streams uh plans when it comes to planned streams i will be only doing gaming streams and this is why i want to do this because i want to like once in a while or once a week or twice a week maybe i don't know uh like get out of the working stuff when i'm working on my secret project you know so um fear not i will be back i promise you i will be back and um i think in january maybe in february i don't know i'm not sure yet around january or february i will be back with music production stream on a regular basis and since uh, until then i will be uh doing gaming streams only yeah and we'll start and this is why i had this idea of um because i want to 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 like separate separate the gaming stream thing from my music production stream um i will be making a, a, a separate intro and this is why i need some music and this is why i came uh, this is why i had the idea of why not make this music in my music production stream so Today and next week, I um, will be working. I'll be working and will be working on a little, like, loop kind of thing that it can play in the um, in the intro, and in the breaks maybe in the outro of my um, forthcoming um, um, game streams. Cheers, by the way. So this is why. Uh, I decided to not work on uh, any track or song today, and of course this just comes in handy because I want to like like as I mentioned I don't want to spoil anything that I'm working on now because you know secret project <laughs> yeah. So I should stop talking about my secret project, otherwise it won't be that secret anymore. So, um, without further blah blah and do, let's dive and jump into Ableton now. I have a session prepared here. Mm. By the way, um, good old pigments is back. I don't know, uh, did I use it last week? Did I use pigments last week? I'm not sure. But good old pigments is back. So um yeah lately I uh, the last I was uh, was I had vacation the last weeks as far as you maybe know uh, the last two weeks and um I really fell in love again with um with pigments and um so pigments is really part of my um 
a standard template now, as you may see here, and there, and there is another pigments, and um, I'm not in the drums yet, but there should be one because there are also quite cool drum drum sounds on pigments. So, what I wanted to do today is like doing starting at least starting um something that's um like a little bit like like, like a little slowed down a uh, little bit um chip maybe chip tuny i'm not sure yet but a little bit like game sound like you know like like old time game sounds or something um so there will be lots of uh, square waves and sawtooth um and pigments is like perfect for that. I per, per, pigments is like almost perfect for anything you want to do. And uh, I'm really, really in love with the um, with the analog engine because the analog engine sounds like so awesome. If you just go and uh, we have those two oscillators now, which are both in sawtooth mode. Let's detune them a little bit, and you already get some nice, cool uh, sound if you turn on the filter. This is like pretty awesome you know. already, you know, without doing like really much. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. Ah. Cool. Yeah, um, so I'm just gonna go and um, like like the, the, I think we could go for some uh, 90 BPM something. Yeah, something like this, you know. It's it's um, maybe even slower. Oh, I think this is fine. I think 90 is fine. So as you see, I, I will be working like in a different way today because um, it got like the the um, like the uh, like the the things that I want to have in my mind, you know, like not not like a melody or something in my mind, just like it should be slow and it should be like a little bit of gaming sound and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go and make in um, the, the Jupiter filter. I'm so in love with this filter. And get this to my second envelope. By the way, uh, I decided to to work in D major, so we're in D major now. Um, because I don't. Um, use D major very often, actually. So I just decided to do it now. This already sounds like pretty cool, you know, but but I haven't got the unison worked on them. So I'm gonna pull on the unison. You get really, really. This sound is so awesome already, you know, without really doing much, and um, I just need to delete uh, delete the. Those effects from from the from the my um, um temp standard template because I don't like don't really use them. I use the um the the effects are cool by the way. The effects effects are really really cool and especially those cor this chorus is like you know. You get a really cool sound out of it. You know, and then if you go and what I always do, uh, since I'm using uh, pigments again, is like using the chorus and using a little bit of distortion. <laughs> Like a little bit of subtle. This is even maybe too much, but we'll see. And some multiband compression, like maybe I don't know. Um, bring up highs. 
And we already have a pretty cool sound to work with, you know. have for like like a really pad sound with a really opening up filter you know really like long opening filter maybe we could use um some last drive here Of course, we can use some noise here. We can even sound like a little bit more. Maybe how about some super core? This sounds even more like a pad sound, you know. Yeah, something like I would go like for something like this, just to start so, to have something uh, something um, that we can start with, you know. This is a pretty cool starting point, and um, attack of the. I think it even slower here. Yeah, this is like already good, um, a good chord progression for a nice um, loop. And um, let's go and build, um, build a nice bass sound. With pigment, oh no, pigment, sorry, wave table. And we're also gonna go for the analog thing, thing. And let's go for some mini filter here. Let's map it directly to the second level. Modulate the bandwidth by the third LFO, which is already free running, but it should be slower.
but this one doesn't go like back. Only goes like up that much. Oh, it goes back, yeah. Does it? No, it doesn't trigger, okay. And we need some noise. Maybe even some red noise. Second engine go in with some wave table to give it some extra juice here. Get this in the unison mode here. talking I got pretty used to working with um with um with pigments now I'm quite satisfied with the results that I'm getting out of it Use some flanger. Oh, it's too much. Let's go for the multi band and push the. Uh, bring up. Uh, no, not high. It's fat low end. Like this, you know, this is pretty pretty simple, but it should work. Try something um, like a little bit different, um, and uh, get me so get me uh, another pigments in here because pigments got pretty cool um, like percussive sounds uh, built in, and I haven't used them yet actually, and I think I even bought like a percussive pack sound pack as far as I remember. There is one in my in my things here, in my banks here. But I'm not sure if I bought it or like because of drive it was in I don't know.
Yeah, why not even use this loop already? Why not? I mean, this is pretty cool. One, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. I need, just need to hold down one button. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Um, forgot I forgot to 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 um, add the drift here. The drift is pretty cool because it adds some um, yeah drifting to several notes to random notes actually, um, which makes it sound even more analog. to to um quantize the bass because the bass is like kind of off yeah that's better Maybe go and um, I don't know which, which what effects are on this sound here. I don't know which is how the sound is made. Analog, analog, crazy. Okay, it's like just analog engines. This is pretty crazy because it sounds really like 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 I don't know like bongos, but it's just synth engines. This is pretty cool. I like it. Um, don't need the reverb here. Maybe this reverb could be off too. Yeah, there is some delay, but it's not that much because the effects are stepped down maybe. Maybe we could use um put some 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 bit crusher even to it. Yeah, I like that. Um, so why not go for another pigments and I'm just gonna go and delete like those here maybe I leave in this simpler here a simpler drum kit if I gonna use something else like in several uh, separate kick or something but um, yeah we'll see Let's see what we can find in this percussive drive bank here because there was a kick actually. This is just the symbol, the hi hat. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool as well, you know. Yeah, why not? I mean. This this I'm gonna go do different. I'm gonna just paint in the note here and do legato, and use the um, 
the sequencer and the, the arpeggiator. There's already some something in here. This is cool. Yeah, you could go for 16th. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. This is cool. This is like, okay, this is far too groovy for like a, like a, I don't know, 8-bit kind of um, uh, uh, game sound thing, but why not? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. And if I like it, I like it, you know, and I do like it. So what else? We we definitely need definitely need a kick drum, something like a kick drum, and let's see if we got a kick drum in this um, bang thing here. What about this? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is gong. Yeah, okay. Nope. Uh, we had that. This is a nice simple roll. Oh, I tried them once. I remember as I hear uh, while I hear those sounds, I Something like this, you know. Three, four, one, two, three, four. This is not a kick drum yet, but um, this sounds pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So now we need a kick drum. I could use a sample as well, but let's see what our pigments can get here. I need a kick build one of course you know i could use a sample which i can drag into um pigments as well as use the sample player and uh you know i could do it so many ways but i want to see if there's a kick drum here and this is a hi-hat loop was heinrich schreckst mich wieder so okay nope <laughs> nice. There are lots of cool, like, like, um, yeah, um, uh, modular kind of uh, sounds in here, and I think there was written that it's like inspired by modular um, synthesis kick roller. It's a roller. Well, this is like fast. Can I go in? Oh no, it's the. Is 
it's only done with th synthesis you know there's no um there's no um uh, sample in here that's pretty crazy that's pretty cool this is what happened in here actually This is way too fast. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is way too fast, but um, it sounds pretty cool. Um, could you it could slow it down somehow? But you know, I don't want. Yeah, I'm just looking for some kick sound, rock and loop. Okay, what's that? Yeah, it's kind of nice. But it's not, it sounds cool, but it's not that what I want to have there, you know? Whoa. Okay. This is scary. <laughs> Shock wave. Yeah. You know, like almost every second movie trailer, you hear something like this. You know? But it's pretty cool. It's nice to it's nice to know that I have this there. Techno groove. And they, 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 this is all. I think all of these just um, use. All of these just use the yeah. The, the wave table or something like synthesis engine, nothing, no samples here. This is pretty cool. Another noise sequence. Lots of sequences in here. This is cool. cool but that doesn't fit you know I want to have this. I want to have this there. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Why, should, why don't I just just paint it in there? You know, could be as well painted just. Yeah, it's this one. Because I don't need um to to um. 
to record this. This doesn't need to have any kind of um, velocity changes or something in there. Maybe not this one. Maybe I'll leave the, the, those toms, those bongos for later or something, because they are quite cool, but actually... You know, this is... We then throw in a kick, you know, this is enough. You know, just for... Just like, I just, you know, I just want to have some... Thing that's like slowed down and laid back, something, and um, yeah, that's dragging another pigments. I we will see what my CPU says to that. Actually, it's pretty low at the moment. This is cool, and then I am live. Yeah, I am live. Okay, this is crazy. Let's see what our sample engine has to offer. So, drums and percussions, drum loop, kick, let's go for some, this is a really roomy kick, this is a much tighter kick. Why is there so much reverb on it? And even in delay. We don't need a delay. Not yet. Is it... <laughs> cool. This is a nice 80 snare, yeah. It's, as, as it says, you know, it's an 80 snare. Yeah, let's take this, you know, let's why not why not? Let's just take this. Let's just take this awesome eighty snare. Um, and record it. Let's do this. One, two, three, This is pretty cool. Let's go and drive this. Drive this snare like with a um, overdrive. There's something like here. Oh, I am on the aux. Okay. Maybe even the wave folder. Yeah. We 
without it, it sounds even better. Let's let's leave it with let's leave it like it is. I'm gonna pitch the 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 um the toms like an octave higher. better um so this is no, this is our snare snare no snare yeah this is our hi-hat Pretty nice and let's search for nice or let's build a nice kick drum maybe this tight tight kick drum there sound pretty cool mm. gonna go and go for a default template here so that we don't get anything else like you know there were there were like effects on this because it started on the kick because it started with a um with a uh uh not with a default you know so there are still effects on the snare that like don't not meant to be there but it's, the multi band compression sounds pretty nice and so why not um. So let's build a nice, or let's choose, find, and build a nice kick drum. Well, there are vocal samples in here. Oh no, I'm just on this wrong channel here. Sorry. Dude, mono and with um, Glide. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but we were looking for kick drums, sorry. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, where are our drums? Percussion, drums and percussion, yeah, there we go. Let's go for this tight one here. And let's use the, the utility engine to maybe, why doesn't it light up? Oh, okay. Can I put it on another envelope? That's the VCA. But I want to have it on another, like the VCA on another, kind of change it somehow, like, or is it? possible to I haven't used this um sample mode and something like this yet that much can I did it can playback loop reverse <laughs> nice okay okay there's nothing like but there may be something like, you know, um, um, I 
um, like there is in sim simpler there is a um, that you do just play it you know that, that you hit it once and it plays it through the whole sample but not here maybe maybe it works but I can't find out where who cares it already sounds like pretty cool maybe just go for some crazy no pretty quiet Oh, okay now maybe I go for for a different sample on the kick like a different kick sample Yeah, let's 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 use come on let's use the 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 simpler thing here and i have some nice kick samples here in my yeah in this one like this sounds pretty cool already let's put this one in there yeah Yeah, let's use the bass uh, MIDI and put it on the drums here. Oopsie. Put it up like an octave and then get it down and delete those. So we got. down a bit and randomize the oh no no that was too much just a bit nah damn it don't need the toms maybe I'm just go and delete they don't, don't sound bad The beat is like pretty broken. You know? Like the the beat is pretty like broken kind of, but it's it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with it, you know. You could use the um there's a panning device inside inside um pigments and maybe we're gonna use the where is a uh, stereo pan thing stereo pan there you go 
and let's go for man and let's go for one bar Another snare hit here. Yeah, that makes makes make, make, makes it makes it feel like a lot, a lot more like um, complete, you know. Maybe I can go in and tune the hi hat like a little bit. this happening yeah we have a bug here we have a little glitch here ladies and gentlemen we have a glitch never seen that before do you see yeah it's also on the stream screen crazy Yeah, this is like the vibe that I was looking for, you know? This is like the vibe I want to go for. Should be like a simple loop that can be like um, running the whole time, like over minutes. And which is a little bit groovy. But not that. You know you don't want to dance to it. You can dance to it, you know? It's got a dancey vibe. But it's not that, you know, fast or something. The bass, of course, the bass is like pretty much. And we could double the pad. And make it stereo, like pretty cool stereo sounding. 20 and go like this. Oops, nope. Um, yeah, this to the right and this to the left. could now use some um, reverb. Let's go for some. I like this ambience, uh, medium ambience. Let's go for, oh no, let's, doesn't it have some. Yeah, maybe, maybe let's go for some medium, medium ambience. This is the B. Maybe 
maybe it's like even to be like a little bit duller here, you know, like dull, like I didn't use the Pulseworth modulation on those. Why? Pulseworth modulation is something Pretty cool. Um, let's turn it down. go and like get it both an octave down yeah this is cool I think lots of sirens going on today okay this is pretty loud hope everything is good out there um let's go for some some delay here without the toms now. Yeah, nice. And here we've got our Valhalla plate. I'm lately using lots of my Valhalla um, uh, 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 reverbs because they sound so awesome, you know? And um, yeah. Dark drum hall, drum warehouse. Mm, let's go for some drum warehouse. I haven't used this yet. Let's just get the um, um the hi hat, the snare. So I should be like, yeah, the chip look like a lot too. The toms. I don't know why this thing is happening here. really punchy this is a really punchy kick sample but I like it could use some um, there's another kick in there this one this one got oopsie this one's got a little dirt to it you know and I like this see Better you hear it. Yeah.
it sounds so cool. I like it very much. Crush it even more and get another comp in here. Let's try hard. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Tom's are like I'm not really satisfied with those toms yet, you know. Maybe we're gonna use the toms later. I'm just gonna go and turn them off. Maybe we're just gonna go and make them toms. At the end there. Sorry. Ah, no, it should be cool, yeah. Maybe. 
maybe we're gonna get them higher. Just let me listen to those toms. Get them higher because I'm so fold mode. Yeah, this is better. What did we use here? We use dot tom. What about this? Um, The space toms. Ah. Sci-fi tom. Maybe we use this one. <laughs> okay, this is crazy loud. Don't need the um, reverb here. Because we got our. I'm not sure if this is this. I'm not sure with this. I'm not. I'm not completely sold on those toms things here, but. Maybe we need something else there. I'm not sure. pretty cool already you know there's not much we need to add here because it should be like as i mentioned something that can play in a loop and isn't that um, it shouldn't be like in the for in the foreground you know it, it should be more like in the background and foreground is that is that an english word i'm not sure it should be we like really in the background you know but um, let's copy, uh, let's du duplicate the scene and maybe make some uh, something with a, um, like some kind of, of, of no, some kind of um, melody or something happening here. And let's get kind of, kind of crazy with this. I'm not crazy, you know, not like crazy, crazy, but. I will see. I'm going to use some some um, uh, presets here, like out of my bangs. Here, like those, um, um, like those stranger things kind of sounds here, because they're pretty cool. Something simple like that, you know? 
So this is not crazy, you know? I, I was talking about crazy, but this is not crazy. But it's pretty cool. Tuned. What's on that? It's pretty nice. Yeah, something like this, you know. That's cool. Come on. One, two, and the three, and the four. Doubled as well here. This, ah, oh. sorry. Ah, oh, turn the mic off in the right moment. This is pretty cool. But why am I sneezing so much? I don't know. Um, this should be like here. Yeah, like a musical pro, you know. This is pretty nice, you know. And maybe let's see. I'm interested in what is um what's this um there was this ambient effect thing there. So let's see what this ambient effect is. This is pretty cool. My my CPU is like pretty low. Running here. This is pretty cool for being at. I don't know. I, I think I might be at two or two five eight kilobits something. I'm not sure. Let's let let's see. Um. Yeah, two two uh, two hundred five fifty six samples. This is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. Um, ambient SFX. This 
This sounds cool as well, you know. I'm on the wrong. Yeah, I'm on the wrong track, so that's why that's why it sounds cool. Because we used this already. Yeah, this is an ambient effect, okay. Got some records there. Now I got some crackles happening there. Okay, this is like a little bit too much. Um, but this is pretty cool already, you know. Pretty, this is a pretty cool pad as well. Yeah, it's pretty CPU. <laughs> it's funny, I just mentioned that this is. The CPU is like running so good. And now we got this thing. Uh, this crackles there, you know. So why not just try? Oops, I'm not screen anymore and it's boss Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but this is crazy. I'm too deep. Just gonna go and um, put some stars here. Yay, stars! Pretty cool. I didn't uh, unmute. Oh, this is real pretty. Okay, this is like pretty CPU heavy here. Funny, just mentioned that everything works so fine, you know, I was like pretty surprised. Now we're it's like just this track, you know, just this one here that makes the problems, you know. It's preset, you know, it's just this preset that doing this crazy stuff happening here.
think this already sounds pretty awesome. You know, it's pretty pretty much the, what I want to have there. And uh, maybe I'm gonna go for some Max for Life devices and like, I mean, like mess with this a bit to make it sound more like, um, yeah, gaming sound like an old uh, tape or something. Um, there was this college dropout. And there was another one. College trouble light of filter. Hmm. Wait, there was another one, like something with I forgot the name, you know. I'm always forgetting the names of the of the uh Max for Life devices actually. Hmm. There was one that has like that's like a bit crusher or something like this. Let's just go and one by one. But no, nope, 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 nope. I'm not sure. Nope, nope, nope. Tall trouble again. Nope, 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 nope. No. High school crush. Yeah, it's crush. You know, like crushing. Let's first start with the, uh, um, tape. Definitely need utility after that to make the base mono here. Which is just I didn't need the frequency, the frequency of the base. Um well, let's just go in and try it. I haven't used this high school crush, like, I don't know. Forever, you know.
I think this is pretty cool. I want. Um, it sounds pretty cool with this high school crash and the college dropout on it. It sounds like you always, you get crackled there, and this is pretty cool. I haven't tracked them out. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't used them in a while. I don't know why, but because they're sounding pretty cool. I think this sounds already pretty cool, but I want to try something out. Uh, try something here, and um, just gonna go for some like really synth wavy uh, bass stuff here. You know, like like some really uh, like like a pump in. And this uh, for this I use the sequencer, the arpeggiator. And go for some 16th bar and make the gates like longer. Something like this, maybe. You can always go and vary it. Um, this is pretty cool. I like what I like a lot is this this random button here, this random dice button. You see there, I don't know if you can see it. There are like if you turn it down, this is like the 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 bars are like this, and if you pull them up, you see it, they are get, getting more bars here, like 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 faded bars around them, and this is why, where the range of the randomness happens. Okay, but this is like... Yeah, there we get through. Maybe I'm gonna use something like this because it's, you know, it's pretty cool. But then we need, uh, then, then we definitely need a chorus on this sound, like the junior chorus or something. Yeah, Let's see. gonna go and duplicate this the space sound because I'm just gonna go and leave um, both in there you know I'm just gonna go and delete those and this one and on this one I'm gonna switch off the pagiator again to turn down the um maybe make it even like eight notes again.
both both sounds pretty cool. But this one sounds cooler because it's like on the kick, you know, it's like punching together with the kick, and this sounds pretty cool. Uh, the other one's like given a little bit of drive, you know, and um, I could use bo bo all of this, you know, because it's got some vi <laughs> um, uh, some uh, variations in there. This is pretty cool, you know. Yes, I like this a lot, you know, this is like, this is like the thing I want to go for, and, um, what I'm going to do now is, like, uh, make some pump in here, kick, Also with this um, um you know <laughs> reverbs kick gets uh, through the mix, like it really kicks through the mix, you know. Maybe not on the delay. Yes, I think this is pretty cool, you know, and you can you can uh, still go and uh, modulate it a bit with a with a filter, maybe a high pass filter. You know. Really go for that kind of vibe, you know about a rift filter here I haven't used this one in a while Could be useful Got an interesting vibe to it. It's 
put them both around 200. And get the spread down to zero. Like almost about the same. This high pass has definitely 24. Yeah, it sounds different, but it's like maybe just because of this little bit of hertz difference here. Um, so the um, auto filter is enough here. Yeah, for when we need it, this is enough. We won't need any vocals, I think. And we won't need guitars. I'm gonna get rid of those toms now on the stuff here. Please, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it will crash. It almost looked like it's gonna crash. So I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that we don't use at the moment, just like pretty much the basic here. It's already sounding pretty cool, you know? This, this, not much I want, would, may, there, there's not much I want to, would like to add, you know? Maybe just go for some crazy noises, noises in this part, you know? This. Um, let's turn this one off. This one. Yeah, this is cool, you know, for this part without the lead vocal, uh, lead vocals, you know, lead uh, synth, we could use the pump and bass. this lead melody, the bass that's on the kick, you know. One, two, one, two, three, four. This round, this bass sounds a little like, like groovier, you know. I like this, you know, like, I already like this. I'm already liking this a lot. Let's go and and do some crazy stuff with the drum bus here. Yeah, now we're hitting. Yeah, you know? Maybe use some some um, uh, some freaky. Um... Oh, damn! This is loud. No, this is a loud kick. The snare is louder, actually. I think the, the kick could use some, um, bit reduction as well. So I'm going to throw a redux after it.
예. One last, one last thing for today that I'm gonna try is um, making a granular synth stuff happening again with our pigments, with our good old friends, pigments. Mm, I'm gonna go for some, oops, uh, template like granular pad and this is already pretty cool kids laughter kind of gibberish gibberish This is pretty cool.
yeah, maybe something like this, you know, there could be something like this happening. Just gonna draw this quickly. Just to have some high frequencies in there. throw some ML distance on it to put it like really in the background with like some high stumping. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. This is groovy. I like it. I like it a lot. I do want to dance to it. You know, it's not like... It's a groove, yeah. But it's, a, it's a background clue. But I'm already... Like, I want to vibe to it, you know. It's awesome. Cool. Yeah, this is all for today. Um, thanks for joining on the playground. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you, um, uh, uh, yeah, had fun. I had fun. I had lots of fun. And um, so next week I'll be back on, on Wednesday again. And yeah, with my last music production stream for 2021. And um, as I mentioned, I will turn on this. Crackle. Um, sorry. As I mentioned, I will let you guys know as soon as I'll be back with music production stream. Um, should be like as I mentioned, uh, in the intro. Um, should be like January or February. I'm not sure yet. Uh, depends on um how good I'm uh come um, how good I'm um with my uh, secret project. How good this works out. But I will keep you updated on it, and as soon as I get something that can show you, you will uh, hear it, see it on my social media. So check check them out, keep an eye on it, and yeah. As I as I said, uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for joining. Um, hope you had a have a good night, sleep well. Um, hope you have a good rest of the week. And um, go stream Loop Loop. Um, it's still pretty cool. And go stream um, the Green Street Pre as well. Um, because they're both still pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Have fun. Stay safe. There's nothing much to say, you know. Have fun. Stay safe. And see you next week on the playground. Goodbye.